Hello YouTube. So this was the end. The last episode of the Game of Thrones TV show. TV show. <coughs> it was a lot of things that happened and uh, <laughs> there are already a lot of people out on the internet talking about them. Uh, but I want to talk about a few points where I have, uh, I think I have uh, some <laughs> some original ideas or some th stuff I've not seen too many other people discuss. We will see if this becomes one 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 video or several, depending on how long this takes. Well, first thing I would like to talk about is Daenerys' Daenerys' speech to her soldiers. She tell tell her soldiers that they have given given her everything they had promised her. You killed the men in the iron suits, and you tore down their stone houses. And I, I think that is a pretty important point, because it reminds us that violence was always the Irish plan. I mean, okay, from the very start of the series, yes, she was powerless and uh, controlled by her abusive big older brother and then she's sold off to Khal Drogo and is just <laughs> and she's just at that point a very scared, scared young girl but as soon as she starts to get power when uh, Khal Drogo starts to like her more and uh, <clears throat> Her first plan was to convince Khal Drogo to bring his 40,000 40, Osiraki screamers across the narrow sea and take what, what she saw as hers, to take the Iron Throne. That would have been violent, like really violent, and she knew that, she knew that the Osiraki were were very savage and brutal people. And I'm since she got her dragons, I I think she have threatened to burn every city <laughs> she visited since she got her dragons. So there are a lot of people on the internet internet talking about how Danny went mad or turned evil and many who argues that this descent into madness went too, too fast to be credible. But I'm not sure I agree with that at all. I mean, of course systematically burning a city down, killing probably hundreds of thousands of civilians is a hor horrendous act. Uh, today we would, we would probably describe it as genocide. <clears throat> and of course uh, the fact that she have lost Yora, Missandei, <laughs> two of her dragons and that she felt both rejected and betrayed by John. I mean, of course, that contributed to what she did. I don't think she would have been that brutal, other if they were still around her. But when you say that someone goes mad or turn evil, it's like. You're arguing that they have become another another per person entirely. 
and uh, this is not the whole new Danny. She have always been about taking what's hers with fire and blood. We have seen her use a lot of violence before. We have not seen her do it on this scale, but that's all the difference there is. It's about the scale. Um, so, I think that's a, yeah. I br I'll break this video here and do do some more when, with other thoughts. Bye.